Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and today there's a bunch of news, big news for this Friday, and I'm very excited. The competitive field pass comes out today, and as if you see here, a bunch of free stuff. Here, let me move my camera or just get rid of it for a second so you guys can see. So starting out, I'll name some of the big ones that you can see here. Obviously, the AJ Terrell at level 25. At level 27, you get an 87 overall legend player, which I will be going into about what these legends are and who they are and how you get them. As you see also there, there's an 87 BND Headliners Fantasy Pack and at 53, an 87 Legend Player again and level 48, George Pickens. But you guys can pause the video, look at see what levels they are and this will be out today. Now for some of the bigger news, the Legends are here and starting out with Dan Deerdorf, which is a good right tackle to have and he will have Identifier, which will be the first one. And just looking at him, yeah, he's, he's going to be the best right tackle. I mean, mainly all these cards are going to be the best in their positions. As next up, we have Franco Harris, 84 speed. And this card also gets goal line back. And he's the first running back to get running back apprentice. Excuse me, fullback, whatever. He gets running back apprentice, which would be really good to have. Next card to have is this Junior Seiya with 85 speed, 83 acceleration, 82 strength, 88 tackling, 84 play rec, 90 block shed, and 80. 88 hit power and the one thing that is really good about this card this card gets pick artist and it gets lurker so going to be one of the first cards to get both of these and honestly i feel like pick artist might be the main thing to get in this game because i feel like there's so many interceptions that are just dropped the next card up is fred taylor and honestly fred taylor doesn't really really look that good i mean don't get me wrong he, he is gonna be probably one of the best backs to have but uh, the way that i play he can't really catch the ball that well and he doesn't really i don't know for some reason it just doesn't give the x factor to me as maybe somebody like a ramondre stevenson the next player that we have is javon curse and this javon curse looks filthy i didn't get to see what the abilities were on him but we will find out hopefully this saturday and this card ugh it's just with the 88 finesse move and the 88 block shed block shed is going to matter a lot this year because of how good the run is so you're going to want to be getting these players with these high block sheds and the next player up is ed reed who gets pick artist and gets deep zone ko which is going to be really good to have and having that 90 zone coverage is definitely you're going to see that and you don't even really have to use him but he's still going to be a great user nonetheless with the 87 speed and the 87 power the i mean the one thing that does suck about him is his man but besides that though this isn't a man year this is a zone year so this card is phenomenal the next card that we have is this richard sherman and richard sherman is going to be disgusting man having deep uh deep zone ko just another great card the man coverage i wish it was a little bit better because don't get me wrong this man could play some man he was shutting down people especially with the seahawks but nonetheless still a great card and i think this is the last legend that you can do for sets wise but there is two limiteds and i'm not gonna lie i was surprised for one of them but this devin hester looks to be one of the best wide receivers 87 speed already makes him the fastest wide receiver with 90 deep route running already phenomenal and just gonna be a really good card to have now this is how you do the legend sets you have to get one of the 84 overall players then you get two 84s then you get six 81 legend players then you get six 70 overall debut players of the legends which is like basically their lowest one possible but who knows how this will turn out maybe there's going to be a method to making back to it i don't know could you make coins it seems like it's a lot and this will be the first limited as we have warren sap which with the 90 block shit is going to be big and definitely going to be a card that is i feel like it's going to be a limited if you have him he's going to be great with the and also having 81 speed and just having the 84 finesse move is also really good too so this card definitely obviously the best d tackle in the game right now and this chad johnson is going to be filthy honestly the stats are a little bit eh but has the medium route running and that could probably hit 90 on a Bengals steam team but it absolutely looks filthy and definitely a card that i'm going to be wanting to have and i feel like you guys just gotta pick it up and for the last thing there will be sets and you will get six sets today if you are watching this video on friday going into saturday 
And what you end up doing is you end up getting 16 of them to exchange for a one legend token fantasy pack. And it ends up turning into a season one champion overall legend of your choice. So that's a good thing. Instead of rolling the dice and doing a random pack and getting a random legend, you're going to be able to pick your legend that you want. So I think that's a major W from EA. And that's all I got today. I really do hope you enjoy the video. I hope you guys are going to play the competitive pass, playing the legends when it does come out tomorrow, and just enjoying the game. I really, you know, I've just been having fun these past couple of weeks. So, hey, hopefully more to come. Have a great day, y'all.